Well, hello guys. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you. Today it's not about flying. Today it's a little bit about some tips and tricks with the Nano S2, which finally, after many, many crashes, I finally managed to break. So guys, before I dive into the tips and tricks of the Nano S2, I would like to recommend to you a book by Javier Moreno, that is me. Yeah, I wrote my first ebook. So if you, um, if you like to read books, you know, it's a very small book. It's uh, 47 pages long. It'll take you, I don't know, uh, an afternoon to read it. Um, it's, a, it's a short story about the uh, post-apocalyptic world and what could happen. So um, make sure to check it out. It's called The End of It All. It's available anywhere you can get your um, ebook from, you know, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Kobo, Apple Books, uh, wherever you get your ebooks from, you can get it there. It will be greatly appreciated and it'll help to fund uh, any projects that I do here, uh, starting the Goblin 700 RAW. So thank you very much, guys. And uh, here come the tips. So what happened, guys, is that, uh, well, I finally ended up breaking the broom. I basically split the boom in half and I didn't have any spares. Um, so I went up and looked up in the internet and could not find any spares actually on stock. So what I did is that I did some research and I did a little bit of tinkering around. I had a um, boom from a different one from the Nano CPS, but it's a different connector. So I had to do a little bit of tinkering around and soldering, but it ended up uh, working out just fine. So guys, the tip that I have for you is uh, the use of fabric paint. Yeah, I never thought that, right? I mean, who thinks about fabric paint? Um, only Jeff West from West Hobbies RC, which, by the way, if you haven't checked out that channel, you should check it out. Um, I uh, I got that tip from him. I got this uh, fabric paint. And it's very similar to what Horizon Hobby actually uses on the Nano S2. On the little tail connector, the tail connector is not like a regular servo connector. It's like... Um, uh, just like a s straight connector with with two pins so it's very easy for it to get deattached on flight during vibration so horizon hobby uses this kind of black goo which oddly enough resembles a lot this uh, this fabric paint thing so that's what i used and it works perfectly another place where i actually used this fabric paint is on uh, the tail fin. The tail fin just clips together. It doesn't uh, bolt together or it's not, um, you know, it do does. there's no glue in it. So it just fastens there. And because of course, you know, this, this is an inexpensive helicopter. Well, it, it the clip is not perfect. So it vibrates a lot. So if you just put a little bit of, uh, of a dab on, uh, on the tail where it fastens, then it will stick into place and it, it will stop vibrating. Another place where I would recommend to put a little bit of, um, of fabric paint is where the boom meets the frame. You can all, because sometimes, you know, it, uh, the design is that it's actually, um, it's actually cut. The boom is actually cut to try to avoid it from, from rotating. But if it's, if it's still rotating for some reason or not moving or, or not getting there, um, you know, it, it or it, it kind of loosens, well, you can just use a little bit of dab of fabric paint there and also and also fix that situation now if you use the fabric paint on the on the fin like I told you you might run into an issue which is center of gravity so now the helicopter will on a hover start moving forwards start moving tilting forwards a little bit or start moving backwards a little bit in this case if you added too much weight to the tail then it'll start slowly drifting backwards so if that happens to you you can just put a little bit on the canopy at the front of the canopy now beware that this is this is a very small helicopter so a few grams will make a difference so just try to put little by little very 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 little until uh, when you fly it you know your your helicopter is stable and doesn't move backwards or forwards so this is also a good way to fix your center of gravity issues all right, so thank you very much for sticking with me uh, so far. So those are very small tips and tricks I had on the Nano S2 to, to you know, balance out the uh, center of gravity, to fix a little bit of vibration issues, and to make sure that you can keep that uh, tail boom connector uh, in its place if you ever need to replace it. So thank you very much, and I'll leave you with a small little montage of the S2 after the repairs. Thank you very much, and see you